Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be reviewing the new podium vehicle, the Ocelot Pariah. As always, we're gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it. Now, first and foremost, this vehicle has been on the podium before, but I never reviewed it, because it was before the time I started making videos for these. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is gonna be my first time driving this, I believe. And, uh, first off, a little fact about the vehicle. It's part of the sports car category in GT Online. It's, it costs a whopping $1.4 million and it was released with the Doomsday Heist at the end of 2017, which makes it over five years old as of the making of this video. As for interactivity, uh, da -da 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 -da. this is what you can do with it. You can open everything, both doors, the hood and the trunk. And, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. and even though this kind of, to me at least, looks like the Cyclone, it's not. It's a, uh, it has a, Internal combustion engine. It's a gas-powered vehicle, not like the Cyclone. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool-looking vehicle. And it's based on the Austin Martin Vanquish Zagato, in case you're curious. So yeah, there you have it. You live, you learn. And uh, as far as the exterior is concerned, I have no problems with this vehicle. I think it looks incredible. Uh, so let's just close this baby back up. And you know what? I'm curious to see how the interior looks, so let's go check that out. And the interior looks very, well, generic. But uh, the vehicle sounds... Very not generic. It sounds incredible, in my opinion. And uh, with that, we are off to do our scientific test to see what type of drivetrain we are dealing with here on the Pariah. Whoops. And, uh, well, it should come to no surprise that this is, in fact, a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And with that piece of information out of the way, we are off to Los Santos Customs to customize this bad boy. And as always on our way there, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the vehicle. And first and foremost, for a, ve for a vehicle released in 2017, it feels very snappy, uh, the handling feels very on point. As you can see, it almost corrects itself as I'm making the, the small adjustments and the turns. This is this is all the vehicle. You see how it like almost corrects itself to where it's pointing in the uh, quote-unquote right direction? I really like the handling of this one. As for the brakes, they are... They're, they're actually surprisingly good! And all in all, this is a fairly well-balanced vehicle. But uh, something that I don't like about it is the price. The price is kind of high for it. Maybe the customization is going to be on point, but uh, considering it's a 2017 vehicle, I really doubt that. Ooh, and I actually completed that one. But uh, there's only one way to find that out, and that's going to Los Santos Customs. And here we are, and as mentioned before, the Ocelot Pariah is part of the sports car category in GT Online. As for how much money you can sell it for, well, twelve thousand dollars, which is most than, uh, which is more than most vehicles. But uh, yeah, it's still not a lot of money, because this is, after all, the podium vehicle. Uh, no, let's see, upgrade all the performance options up front, brakes, blah 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 blah, transmission. We definitely want that. Turbo, we definitely want this, and. Uh, Upgrading all the performance options is done, now it's time to customize this bad boy. And uh, the first thing I want to point out and that I'm noticing is, as I mentioned before, it feels very snappy and the acceleration bar is already maxed out, which is a pretty good indicator that this vehicle is going to perform very, very well when we exit Los Santos Customs. Now, I think I'm gonna, I want to go with the tuner, uh, the front thing. Uh, let's see now, the rear, I think I'm gonna go with the carbon trim. Hood options. Uh, these are always a good source of entertainment. At least for me they are. Wow. I think I like this one the best, GT hood. Lights, liveries, and here are all the liveries you can choose from for the Pariah. Even though Rockstar gave us a, well, it's actually not that ugly, but, uh... I already know what color we're gonna make this, so let's just go with the non-option. License plate. 
Uh, of course, lay yellow on black. Respraying the vehicle is gonna be done at the end of our stay at Los Santos Customs. Uh, stay tuned because you guys picked the color for this week, as you do every week. Uh, roof option. Carbon, of course. Uh, side skirts, let's see. Ooh, that looks very interesting. We're gonna go with the pariah. We can slap a spoiler on it. And we have actually a good number of spoilers to choose from. Oh my god, this is so just overdoing it. Um, <laughs> I think I like this one the best. The carbon type 2 spoiler. So we're gonna go with it. Uh, slamming the vehicle to the ground is gonna do... Well, probably nothing for the handling, but uh, it's definitely gonna make it look better, in my opinion. Uh, wheels, I actually kinda like those, so we're gonna be keeping them. Window tent, so we're gonna go with the light smoke. Because everything else is... Well, actually, maybe dark smoke. I really like the profile of this vehicle. It looks very, very, very good. Again, in my opinion. And I just noticed the, the puppy out handles. For the for the door handles, so I didn't notice that detail before, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's see now. Respraying the vehicle, and as always, I asked you guys, the viewers of the bullshit party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And for this week, you had a plethora of choices, and most of you for the second week in a row suggested gold. So guess what? We're making it. Wow, this looks good. We're making it gold, and uh, thank you so much for uh, being. Wow. For being a part of the poll, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely make a poll for next week's vehicle. Wow, this looks good. I wasn't expecting this. I was honestly expecting something else. Let's see. If we can. Oh, we can choose a trim for. Let's go with. Let's go with red. Of course, Form Formula Red. Slapping the bull sheep logo on the side of this, and we are done with Los Santos Customs. And here we are on the outside, and as I said before, I really like the color of this, so, uh, yeah, you can't really go wrong with gold. In most cases, in some cases it looks bad, but, uh, I think on the pariah it looks just fantastic. And I just noticed the, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the red trim on the, uh, the spokes. For the, for the wheels, for the rims, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool detail right there as well. I really like how this one turned out in terms of visual customization. Even though it wasn't a lot of visual customization, uh, there was still some there that was kind of good, in my, my opinion. Again, this is a 2015 vehicle, and I can already tell you that the acceleration of this one is great. Uh, is this the fastest in its category? Um, it's possible. I don't know. I don't like to look at spreadsheets, charts, graphs, scales. Uh, I just want to go with uh, my own gut feeling, but yeah, this one feels like, if, if it's not the top of its category, it's somewhere near the top. It feels incredibly fast for what it is, uh, in terms of acceleration. Top speed... Uh, can't really tell, but I'm assuming the top speed is also quite good. The handling of it is quite good as well, so... I'm actually really surprised by this vehicle, considering how old it is. But, yeah, I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing here. It has a tendency, because it is a rear-wheel drive car, to uh, flip itself around, but th that's the name of the game. Just be careful with that. Wow, I'm actually surprised by how much I like this. It's incredible. This vehicle is, in, in, in one word, if I had to describe it to somebody, I would say this one is incredible. It doesn't feel like a, like such an old vehicle. It f honestly, if you told me this vehicle came out in the latest update, uh, visual customization aside, I I'd believe you. Yeah, the, the acceleration is definitely its best feature. And the brakes, well... The brakes are great! No, let me just check the brakes one last time after fully upgrading and customizing them, but I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be they're gonna be fine. They were already good to begin with. Yeah, the brakes are the brakes are great. Um, honestly, for, for driving, for customizing this vehicle, I can see why some people would say, well, it's a pass for me. But for driving, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome driving experience, in my opinion. Would I recommend this one? Yeah. I would even probably recommend you buying it if you're, uh, you know, in the market for something fun to drive and something fast in its category, considering this is a sports car after all. 
And uh, yeah, if you're watching the video in the week it was released, and this is the current podium vehicle, which means you can get it for free. And that, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. And with that, we're going to be ending the video. Thank you so much, as always, to everybody that watched. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Now let's go race this one around the runway. Because uh, that sounds like fun. Doesn't it?